Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. I am Katie from Mitzah Creek Farm and today is September 4th, I believe. It is the first day of school. It's the day after Labor Day and Sydney is off back at college. We brought her um, Sunday. She had a 3 a.m. flight uh, out of Minneapolis on Monday morning and today was the first day of school for Beck. Lily is doing college classes and the charter school that the kids have all gone to. And so um, her actual first day of her senior year is Thursday, but she had student council meetings today and she has been in college now doing college classes. This will be her second week for this year. So to say that it has been kind of crazy is an understatement. You can see behind me at the stone coop that everything is gone except for these guys. We, um, on Saturday, started getting really hot again. We had the market on Saturday morning. And um, Saturday afternoon, we opened up down here from four to eight and um it got really hot and in fact um sunday and monday it reached almost 100 i think yesterday was 100 um both days was 100 now that i'm thinking about it according to the car at least so um what we ended up doing is taking and putting everything back on drip uh, after we closed saturday night so that it was a lot easier to water so we weren't having to water 200 mums by hand so we open again tomorrow at 10 and so i have to bring all those back out i'm going to actually probably wait till the morning because we're supposed to have severe thunderstorms tonight it is starting to cool off it still is about 85 out right now and it's like 6 30 at night which does not happen often here but um i'm gonna leave all the mums you can see them over there um those are the ones showing color these are the ones that are still on fertilizer but i'm gonna leave them all um where they're at for the night just because then if we have strong winds and stuff they won't be falling off of the spools and the tables we had an absolutely wonderful opening of the stone coop market It was busy, not too busy though, thankfully. It was just what we needed. Um, I was a little worried when people were waiting at the gate for us to open, that it would be nuts. And thankfully I was able to keep up with everybody. Uh, the kids helped a little bit here and there. And so that is a relief. Um, and so now uh, we have to start picking pumpkins for tomorrow. Um, it's kind of a multi-person process and it's not something that I can do by myself here um, with customers coming and going. So Owen and Beck are on their way down and they are going to help me pick. This is what we have left for mums. Plus we have some down at the roadside stand, but these are perfect right now. I'm really happy with these and excited about tomorrow opening up. Pie pumpkins have been selling like crazy. Um, we have picked probably two dozen already and they've almost all sold and I'm really trying to make a point to keep the pie pumpkins in an entirely different area so they don't get messed up so that people can use them. So I'm going to go through right now while I'm waiting for Beck and Owen to finish watering the plants down at the stand and I'm going to cut uh, a bunch of pie pumpkins and then they can come through behind and gather them and go put them in the wash tub for me. Before I do that, look at these sunflowers. They are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that giant one down there. That is probably about 10 to 12 feet high. It's getting shorter, I can tell, because they're all uh, leaning down. But man, that is beautiful. These ones here, I love this one. Ooh, the gnats are bad. And then look at that one. It's a big one. And then look at that one. 
I have no clue what variety this is. I love it though. Look at this beauty. That probably is about 30, 35 pounds right there. That's beautiful. Look at all of those. I don't remember what variety this is, but these are all bush. So I am really happy with this variety. When they have multiple on, they'll have like one big one and then they just kind of keep getting smaller and smaller. Those are beautiful. You can see that powdery mildew has set in. That's okay. We'll get our first frost in maybe a week. So I'm not concerned about it at this point um, because I know that the plants uh, don't have much life left anyways. This variety right here is called corn cob and that is a big seller so far this year. I haven't put much of anything else out besides corn cob, a couple carvers, um, some specters, but this, every time I put it out, sells. And guys, I have been telling people that I don't have spaghetti squash and I just realized I have spaghetti squash of millionaire variety. I am so excited about this because I literally have had so many people asking and I forgot I planted it. The Jardale are always a favorite and I'm glad I planted lots. They are looking amazing and we've already harvested quite a few of them. I'm leaving some of them because the stem right there is not very corky. The little tendrils are dry for the most part, but um, you can see that that tendril is nice and dry, but I want that to be a little more corky there so it'll turn tan like that, um, going all the way up and then I'll cut it. I can honestly say that flat stackers are my least favorite to pick because they grow upside down. So it makes it like impossible to tell if they're ripe. Um, but I'm letting them go a little bit longer, but they're definitely ripe now. Back. Thank you. Okay, there you go back. Muscles. So that is it for today's video. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you guys next time.